Exercise your head. Read. Gooster is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't say all in breath. I bet you can. What is that? Homework for this class? I don't know where to no, write it. No, Lenny, chill. This is an essay I have to write for the High School of Science. Man, I'm glad I'm not trying to get into a special high school. I can barely keep up now. Uh oh, someone. Oh no, Goose Rider got kicked out of the computer. What's going on? Attention. Miss Kelly is dead. What? He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. He wants to be friends with us. But he can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. A trip. This is, huh? is this true? It's not true. Hey, everybody, just calm down, all right? I'm gonna find out what's going on. This has to be some kind of mistake. What if it isn't a mistake? Shut up, Calvin. Did you see? Uh -huh. Is that on all the computers? Yeah. And why would they tell us like this? Times we live in, people, the era of mass communication. Get lost, Calvin. Everybody, assembly in the auditorium, please, now. <laughs> it's Miss Kelly. She's alive. Yes. Well, it's nice to know you care. <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of you were frightened by that message. But what happened today was just a nasty prank. And I promise you that whoever is responsible for it will be caught. <laughs> now, I've asked Ms. Lopoine to come up and explain how this computer follow-up happened. You know, I heard she was dead. <laughs> Which, of course, you're not. Uh, we suspect that our computers have been invaded by a hacker. Invaded by a what? A hacker. Now, a hacker is someone who tries to sneak into someone else's computer system. One way you can do that is by putting a virus into your computer system. Achoo! 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 Uh, sorry, Eric, it's not that kind of virus. Here you go. You better take care of that, really. Uh, no, the virus I'm talking about is a program that stops a computer from doing what it's supposed to do. So what happened, probably, was that the virus was put onto a disk Okay, this is a compact disc. It's about music. You're right. It's not what we're talking about. It was probably more like this. <laughs> this is a disco. <laughs> now, actually, here's what we're talking about right here. What happened was we think the hacker probably tried to invade the whole system by putting a disc like this with a virus into one of our computers. That's then how we got the message that Miss Kelly was dead, which, of course, you're not. <laughs> yes, Jasmine. Can you get rid of the virus? Well, we're going to try very hard. In the meantime, uh, it's very, very important to know that no one else is going to be allowed to use any disks 
in any school computers. This is going to keep our school system safe. Okay? Get it? Got it. Good. If this hacker could kick Ghost Rider out of the computer, imagine what he could do to people. Yeah. What did it say at the bottom of the message? Max Mouse. That must be the hacker. Let's rally at my house after school. I think we've got ourselves a case. Yes. I can't go. The first issue of the school newspaper comes out tomorrow. And I've got an article on the front page. Way to go, Tina. I'll let you know it went down. Thanks. All right, take care. Bye. You and me having a frozen yogurt together after school. You and me eating together? Yeah. Mm. No. Mr. O'Coin thinks a hacker put a virus in the school computer system. That could be what kicked Ghost Rider off the screen. So I started a casebook and made a list of computer words. Give me that casebook. I've got to find out if Ghost Rider's all right. So first, we've got to figure out how the hacker put the virus in the school computer. Are you hurt, Ghost Rider? Yes. I love when he does that. I traveled to the school computer a new way must mean he went for my modem. Hey, the hacker could have gotten in that way, too. What's a modem? A modem is like... It's like a telephone for computers. Computers with modems can't talk to each other. I just got this one for my birthday. So you mean a hacker didn't have to be in the school to give the computer a virus? Right. Max Mouse could have used a modem to call the Hurston computer. Maybe he goes to saw Max Mouse and he was traveling. Cool, ask him. Rats' days are numbered. Any suspects? Calvin. I saw him buy a computer disc at school today after Mr. O'Coin said we couldn't use discs in school. And he wasn't too surprised by the message about Miss Kelly. He even seems kind of happy about it. That's weird. Weird? That's Calvin. Acted. Weird. All right, everybody, listen up. Print this out so we can scope the hard copy. Hey, I thought my graffiti story was supposed to be on the front page. Sorry, but the Hurston hacker blasting the school's computers is a much hotter story, Tina. How about we put it where the sports tryouts are? We have to announce the tryouts. Mr. Johnston... It's Erica's call, Tina. She's the editor-in-chief. Can you jump? Can you jam? Boys and girls basketball team tryouts next week. The Hurston Herald has never looked so fresh. I'll take it to the office. How about letting me write about the hacker for the next issue? Do you know anything about hackers? Can you jam with the console cowboys in cyberspace? What? Ever read Neuromancer? Huh? Ever experienced the new wave? Next wave? Dream wave? Or cyberpunk? I didn't think so. I'll handle the hacker stories. Yeah, I guess you should. We should learn about all this hacker stuff. In there. It's a world where you're judged by what you say and think, not by what you look like. 
A world where curiosity and imagination equals power. We need more paper. Let's go, people. Work with me here. Work with me. So, we have an invisible villain and one suspect who may be acting suspicious because he thinks it's fun. Now what? I think we'll have to try something different. Why don't we write down everything we know about Max Mouse? Okay. I'll make a page in the case book. What do we know? We know Max Mouse sent that message. Right. There's got to be some clues in that. Our principal, Ms. Kelly, is dead. Max Mouse. Our principal. That must mean Max Mouse goes to Hurston. Yeah. And he or she must know a lot about computers to write that message on all the screens in school. Max Mouse also seems to be mad at Ms. Kelly. Got it. It's a start. Yeah, but we can't see Max Mouse. We can't tell if it's boy or girl or how old or anything. All we could see are the words Max Mouse writes. It's kind of like being ghostwriter. Exactly. And since Max Mouse writes on the computer, and Ghostwriter can go inside computers, he can track him down in there. Yeah, like being a secret agent. Let me try something. Cool. Ghostwriter can look for Max Mouse inside the computer while we look outside. Lock my way like lock the doors. What does he mean? Maybe they're special computer words. I think we need to find out more about computers so we can figure out what Coach Roy is telling us. Hector, let's go to the library to get some books. Okay. I'm going to techno zap that crazy rat. Way to go, Ghost Rider. Let's go. All right, bye. good luck. All right, bye. bye. Thanks. What are you doing? Nothing. Mr. Coin says we're not supposed to load discs. They can carry viruses. Not this one. Here's the paper. I can do the rest. Are you going to try to find the hacker on the computer? Maybe. Or else I'll try trashing. What's that? <sighs> Going through the trash to look for clues about someone's identity, a paper with their name on it, phone number, stuff like that. Cool. Trashing. We'll see you in the morning. Do it! Do it! Do it! Sure, have a lot of books in here. How are we gonna find what to do one? Right here, in the card catalog. There's a card for every book in the library. First, we have to decide what we're looking for. Okay, we're looking for books with stuff about computers and virus and hackers. And those words that open doors for Ghostwriter. That's at least four things. But they're all about computers, right? Yeah, and you can look stuff up by subject. So our subject is computers. Boy, they sure have a lot of books about computers. Yeah, but they all have the same number. 004 point something. What are those numbers for? That's sort of a secret code of the library. Let's go find 004 for the computer books.
this book about computers. The Ultimate Collection Computer Facts and Fun. It's made for kids. Good choice. Can I have your library card, please? Oh, I don't have a library card. That's okay, I've got one. If you have something with your address on it, I can give you your own library card. A letter, maybe? Yeah, I do. I got a postcard from my grandfather in Puerto Rico. I... I know I got it someplace. Oh. Here. Great. I'll be back in a minute. Here's your brand new library card. Thanks. Sign here. Man, all the books you want for free, only for having an address. This library card is like a million books. <laughs> Tina? Hi. How'd the rally go yesterday? Great. I'm on the lookout for a hacker. So is Ghost Rider. Any suspects? The usual. Calvin? Yeah. I might have another suspect. Erica Dansby. Editor of the school newspaper. Really? Yeah. She knows a lot about computers. Tina, look. <laughs> Greetings from Max Mouse. Ms. Kelly is dead was fun, but my next techno action will show I have the power to smash you. The sports tryouts were there yesterday. Then how did Max Mouse change it? What if Erica is Max Mouse? So the hacker must have used the computers to change the front page of the paper before it was even printed. How is the school going to stop this hacker? Well, we're installing a security box that's going to record the telephone numbers of every call that comes into Hurston's computers in case the hacker's using a, you know, a modem. Well, come on, guys. We're going to catch Max Mouse. You can count on it. OK, that's class for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. These potato heads will never catch a hacker as smart as Max Mouse. The only potato head I know is you, Calvin. You're so good at computers, Calvin. I bet you could do tricks like Max Mouse if you wanted to. Yes, I am good at computers. In fact, Lenny, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm Max Mouse. You're kidding. Nope. And I'm going to use my secret powers to do something special for you. What would your heart's desire be, Lenny? Yeah, right. Why don't you give me an A in global studies? Your wish is my command. Have a beautiful day. Calvin the Potato Head Ferguson. Mashed Potato Head. Oh, and Janice. I didn't know you were there. Bye. I think I failed my global studies quiz today. I'm dead. Finished. Fish food. I can't go to the rally today. Do me a favor and tell the team that Calvin confessed to me that he's Max Mouse. He's so twisted. I already wrote it in the case book. But I don't have a credit card. I don't even know how to use one. This is ridiculous. Jasmine would never use stolen credit cards. I'm sorry, ma'am. All I know is we got a report on the police computer that picked Jasmine Mitchell up for questioning. But, Miss Kelly... I'm sure it's a big mistake, Jasmine. Come with me to my office. We'll call your parents and straighten this out. I can't believe the police want to question Jasmine. The policeman said he got the report on the computer. The hacker. I tell you, if Calvin really is Max Mouse and he's done this to Jasmine, I'm going to... But we have another suspect. Who? Erica Dansby. Yeah, and she really knows a lot about computers. I saw her put a disc into the computer after Mr. Coyne said we weren't supposed to. And she was the last person to work on the paper before it was printed. So she could be the one who changed the front page. Hey, I almost
almost forgot. What? This. I was trashing in the computer room. It's gross, Tina. But Ghost Rider was reading it. Alpha, Beta, Gamma. Inside the computer? Guess what? We learned a lot of stuff about computers today. Like hackers choose a name called a handle. We think Max Mouse is the hacker's handle. And there are these passwords that let you into different places in the computer. Passwords sort of unlock doors for you if you know the right one. If you don't know the password, you can't get in. We think these are the words Ghost Rider is talking about. Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah! Alpha, Beta, and Gamma are passwords! Great work, you guys. Cyberspace? What's that? The world inside computers. Lenny's name, Max Mouse, and 555-8425. That's not Lenny's phone number. Maybe it's Max Mouse's. I'll try it. Let me just hook up my modem. This is how I get to talk to other computers. Oh, cool. What's the number again? 555-8425. Eight, four, two, five. Whoa, Zora Neil Hurston Middle School. We're in the school computer. We're in the student records. Try to type your name and see what happens. Jamal Jenkins. Grade 8. Parents, Reginald Jenkins, Doris Jenkins. Telephone 555-9698. For grades, press enter. Man, we can see all your grades. Uh -uh. <laughs> no way. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Since these are passwords for the Hurston computer, then the hacker was in the computer room after school yesterday. But how do you know it was yesterday? When I found this paper in the trash, the gum was still soft. So the hacker must chew gum. That's a clue. A lot of people chew gum, but I'll put it down anyway. Max Mouse chews probably cheese flavored gum. <laughs> hey, look what else I found. Janice Hall got an A on this quiz. Whoa, this was the hardest quiz we had all year. If Janice is good at computers, then she could be a suspect. Janice Hall? Are you kidding? Her quiz was in the trash with those passwords. If she chews gum, I'd say Janice was a major suspect. Well, I'll keep an eye on her, but I don't know. Janice, she's so shy and... Quiet. As a mouse. Hey, Ghost Rider. Lenny Freight, DA. 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 District Attorney. Attorneys are lawyers who work for the police. I read about them in mysteries. They charge people with crimes. Crimes? You mean 
Then he's in trouble with the police? Oh, man. Gotta stop this hacker before Lenny gets arrested like Jasmine. 